And today I wanted to walk you guys through my very detailed everyday nighttime cleansing routine. Did you guys know that the cleansing step is the one step that can actually cause the most damage to your skin and lead to more breakouts, sensitized skin, and other skin troubles? So that's why I wanted to show you guys the proper way to cleanse each step of the way. Today I am actually wearing makeup, but even on days when I'm only wearing SPF, I will still do most of the steps here. So first things first, tie your hair up, get your favorite headband, I swear I have like 10, and of course, wash your hands thoroughly. You don't want to be cleaning your face with dirty hands. So before I actually go and cleanse, I actually like misting my face first and then going with a cotton pad to remove the surface dirt built up throughout the day. The one I'm currently using here is the Dewy Glow Serum Mist from 107 Beauty. The brand is known for its special 7 year age vinegar that helps to deeply hydrate the skin while also soothing the skin. It also has 60% probiotic ferments to balance your skin barrier. So I found that adding this step to my cleansing routine really, really helpful in making sure I don't overly cleanse and strip my skin. I always get like black dirty dust that comes off on the cotton pad. Then I go in with an eye makeup remover only on days that I am actually wearing eye makeup, especially mascara. I discovered this part about two years ago and it's been such a game changer. I hate tucking on my lashes while cleansing because your girl doesn't have enough lashes to lose. So using this separately to cleanse my eye makeup is crucial. So this foam does the most amazing job at removing heavy eye makeup and mascara, even waterproof, without stinging the eyes. And I know we've all been there using a cleanser on our eyes and suffering from bloodshot eyes for hours. And also if you generally have really dry sensitive eyelids and stuff, then this would be a great option for that too. Okay, now we can finally go into cleansing our face. As the first cleanse, I always use a cleansing oil or cleansing balm. And I've always been a big cleansing balm girl, but a couple months ago, I discovered this luxurious cleansing oil from Sekisei, and I can't stop indulging in this oil. I introduced this in my Best of Cleansers of 2020 video already, and it is so beautiful. It's formulated with highly effective herbal extracts that help to soften rough skin while adding back that hydration to the skin. It also does an amazing job at melting away the first layer of makeup, even heavy makeup too. And this is a little cleansing secret that I don't reveal often, but I'm going to tell you guys today. I always start cleansing and rubbing on areas that I am more oily or have thicker skin barrier. So that's a T-zone for me, followed by my chin, and lastly, my cheeks. My cheeks are the most sensitive, so I want to reduce the amount of time I am rubbing pressure against it and its exposure to cleansers and water. Doing this will significantly reduce the irritation that can be caused by cleansing. The same goes for when I actually wash it off with water. I start placing the water on my forehead, then my nose area, and then lastly, I go into my cheeks to make sure I am minimizing the amount of time my cheeks are exposed to water. And also remember to always wash with lukewarm water, never too hot or too cold or it's going to irritate your skin further. And now we move into our second cleanse. If you guys have been following me for a while, it is no surprise that my favorite type of cleansers are milk cleansers. I have multiple milk cleansers that I love, but this one from Sioris has to be my all-time favorite and the one that turned me into a milk cleanser convert. And to go with this, I like using a cleansing pore brush like this about three times a week. There are two sides to this. The red side has more of that exfoliating function but with a very gentle silicone applicator. And I like focusing that around my nose area where I'm more prone to congested pores. It's much better for your skin to go in with a gentle applicator like this for congested pores rather than going with a harsh cleanser. And the other side is this white brush that is incredibly soft. You just have to feel the bristles to understand. And I'm actually not a fan of cleansing brushes. You guys know I never talk about one, but this one is an exception because of how gentle yet effective it is. And the milk cleanser and brush is a match made in heaven to get the cleanser to do its job way better. So milky cleansers are especially great for those with dry and sensitive skin, which is my skin type, especially in the winter. When your skin is already sensitized, there is nothing worse than using a harsh cleanser that will make your skin even redder and parched. The texture kind of reminds you of like a milky souffle and they are free from harsh ingredients and don't foam up and instead made with emollient ingredients that do a really good job of breaking down the surface dirt and all the grime. So after that double cleanse, my skin is feeling super, super clean, but I have to do one last double check because you don't want to be applying your skincare products on a not so clean face. So there are often areas you miss while cleansing, which is why I go in with a micellar water to go in those missed spots like my neck, my forehead, edges of my nose, etc. This is such an important 
important, important step for me. And sometimes instead of micellar water, I'll just go in with toner pads instead as well. Make sure to take care and exfoliate the neck area, especially if you are wearing turtlenecks in the wintertime as well. All right, so now we are finally done with cleansing. And my number one rule is never let my skin not have any hydration for more than 30 seconds. So I just go straight in with another hydrating mist to make sure my skin is protected while I go to my vanity and apply the rest of my skincare routine. This one from Dalva is a truffle oil serum mist that leaves my skin so glowy and hydrated. So there you go, that's my everyday cleansing routine and I hope you guys took away some useful information from this video. And if anything, just make sure you don't go to bed with makeup like my teenage self. Alright, well thank you so much and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Glow with Ava. Love you!